So I've added a couple fake students to help model things a bit better. And one thing right off the bat, you can see uh, up here, I have the option to change the view, how I'm gonna see everyone. Do I want it as a speaker view, tiled view, gallery, where it's a little more uh, even images. And generally it's gonna prioritize the people who've talked most recently. I should be able to see up to 25 on screen at once, depending on my resolution, but I get to choose how I see them. And there's a few other buttons that are gonna be useful along the bottom here. One being the hand raise. Depending on how you want to run your class, you could actually have your students raise their hand. And when they do, I get a message saying so-and-so has raised their hand. And the nice thing is it even puts them in order. So in this case, I could finish my thought and then say, oh, Mark, what's your question? Great. They ask it. And when they're done, they might lower their hand. But if not, I'll lower it for them. And you can see, ah, it now brings the next person who raised their hand up in the queue. So again, it puts them in order, which is nice. Another thing you might be interested in is being able to be away. When you click the picture here, the fourth one, the farthest one to the left, I have the option to set myself as a way. I can also leave, and these options we'll talk about a little bit later, but I can set myself as a way. Well, that would automatically mute my microphone and turn off my webcam so that people aren't hearing me if I accidentally leave that on when I walk away. When I'm back, I'll click on back, and it would turn them back on if they were on, which mine aren't yet.